All right, hey, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak, Wadash, the bonds to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And we are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Samo Indians, West Indians, and Haitians. And according to the Holy Scriptures, we're God's chosen people. Shalom to all the brothers out there, pushes knowledge and sincerity and truth. Shalom to the few sisters and shalom to the Israelite foreigners who were scattered abroad. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of one ignorant called Jesus Christ, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of one ignorant called God, the one ignorant called Jehovah, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. And when you call upon the Most High and His Son, you must say Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh means He exists, the existing one. Baha Shem means in the name, and Yahweh Shai means he delivers. The Lord and Savior has come back to deliver the elect out of the nation of Israel upon the destruction of the modern day Babylon, aka America. All right. So I got uh, some videos I want to show you, um, brothers and sisters out there, but first I want to read this uh, the scripture right here. Revelation chapter 1, verse 3 it says, Blessed is he that read it. Read it what? The scriptures, man. You know. You got to, um, hey man, <laughs> the most I, you know, um, gave, is, is, has given us an opportunity to come back to him and, and, and to worship him in spirit and truth and to have fear. And these prophecies are popping off. So you want to be, you want to keep up on what, on what's going on. And you want to, you know, constantly, con continually be in, you know, um, in prayer, be in prayer and reading, man, and fasting as well. Revelation chapter 1 verse 3 said, Blessed he that read it, and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. What time? The time for the uh, destruction, time for Yahweh Shara to come back, ultimately persecution of, of, of the prophets, men and men of the Lord, and you women as well. But not all of us is going to um, be put down. Some of us are going to die for this, for this, for the word. Some of us brothers are going to get our spiritual power and miracles are going to happen when these things happen, man. And why am I saying this, man? There's a lot of information coming out. You know, the microchip and um, these concentration camps. So I got these two videos I'm going to show real quick. This is an Instagram page. Got, got a lot of good information on here. Again, to hey man, hey hey, call out Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, because from the apostles and elders on down, they've been saying this for for quite some time. Well, we've been saying it, and these things and these things are happening, you know. The most cutting edge thing about Hannes Huerblad isn't the phone in his hand; it's the microchip actually in his hand. The tiny implant is the latest advance in a biohacking technology that is. It is steadily becoming a part of normal life in Sweden. We have created a new implant, which is not a chip, it's a full device where you can add different lights, different uh, vibration, different functions. Sweden is a very tech literate society. And I think this is the main explanation really why a lot of Swedes are uh, adopting chip implants. Swedes haven't been shy about upgrading themselves with the new version. Thousands already have microchip implants that they use in their daily lives. Waving their hand to gain entrance to the gym, confirm their ID or make payments. A short moment of pain, not putting them off, becoming part Swede, part machine. This event is an implant party, simply where ordinary people can show up and get a microchip embedded under their skin. The biohacking movement in Sweden is hosting them all over Europe, but it's at home where they get the most willing recipients. I think it's really cool. You don't have to carry any keys or anything. Well, that's that. It says uh, part human and part machine. The microchips. Remember that, man. So let's get into the scriptures. You know, I got one more um, scripture I want to pull on prophecy. Prophecy is the main thing that the men of the Lord teach. You know, Revelation chapter 19, verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. As John, the revelator, um, the angel showed up to give him the, um, the prophecies. And he said unto me, see thou do it not. 
I am thy fellow servant. So the angels are, are helping us as well. And thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the Most High for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. The most, I mean, the Heavenly Father's son name is not Jesus. You know, the letter J came about in the 17th century. And the Greek is Jesus, right? And um, the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. So that's, that's the spirit. Hey, hey. <laughs> these things are happening, man. That's what's coming over here. That's what's coming over here. It's already here. The system is already in place. So we just get the prophecy on that, man. You know? Revelation chapter 13. Um, verse 16. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in the right hand or in their foreheads. That's the microchip, man. That is the microchip. Okay. Calls it all. This is a um this whole um pandemic is a global thing. And that is the whole um pretty much mission. That Esau wants to, um, well, he would like to succeed to pretty much um, microchip all his slaves, <laughs> so they can track you, and pretty much they can they can control you. You know the the potion which people are taking as part of that mechanism as well. So you go into the word mark there. It's karagma, a stamp and imprinted mark. It says of the mark stamp. On the forehead or in the right hand as a badge of the followers of the Antichrist, which is the system. Okay. Another word for it. It says uh, a scratch or etching, i.e. stamp. It says a sculptured figure graven mark, which is that microchip, which you could say that potion is part of it as well. So if you take the potion, you're going to take that. Implantation. See what I'm saying? It goes hand in hand. Okay? And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name, which is the same thing. Okay, once you um you know get that implantation, that's how you're gonna be able to survive, buy or sell whatever um merchandise you need. And pretty much you're going to have the number of his name, you know, in the name of the beast. The beast is going to be that whole system that they're trying to set up. You're going to be um, one with that, that beast system. Here is wisdom. Let him that had understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, which is Esau. That's Esau's number, so-called white man. And the number is 603 scores and six, which this whole... Microchip was created by a scientist. There's information on that, which is an Edomite. And pretty much they um, funded that whole research. He did not know until, you know, he did it, which the most I put the spirit on him to do it. That is, is something that is, you know, he fulfilled prophecy. I forgot the name of that, uh, that scientist. Now you go into the word 666, right? Chi, Sty, Stigma. Okay. And um hold on. Looking for the one particular word that shows you. Pull this up again. Right. It says Kai Sty Stigma. I believe this is the one right here. Or it is. All right, stigma, okay, a prick, a stick, a mark pricked in or branded upon the body, pricked in, All right, for the slaves and soldiers bore the name of the stamp of their master, commander, branded or pricked or cut into their bodies to indicate what Master or general, they belong to which they're once that happens, you're, you belong to Esau. The Lord ain't dealing with you, 
So Lord willing, we um that's the hour of temptation. This is the hour of temptation, man. All right. It says Revelation 3 and 10, because thou hast kept the word of my patient, which is this truth. And Lord willing, we all able to endure. I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So you go into the word world there. Okay. All right. Go into the word world there. Oikomene, it's the Greek word, the, the inhabited earth. So this whole pandemic is the perfect opportunity for them, for them to do it. And they are doing it. Yahweh Shem is, is, you know, it's allowing this thing to go down the way it's supposed to go down under his accord. So that's part of our temptation. Also us being apprehended, you know, us being apprehended. So that's, that's going to be the next video. I'm going to show we got the understanding of that. Okay. So it's going down, man. It's, this place is through. Now, peep this. That's going to be really good learning from China that we got from the World Health Organization team that went there. Is if we have communities where we have enough capacity where we can put people who are positive with COVID-19 and have them be exclusively reserved for individuals who, have, who are positive for COVID-19. This reduces our need to try to protect patients from other patients because they're all positive already. We need to protect our healthcare workers and our service workers in those facilities. This gives us reduced burden on personal protective equipment, but it also can give us greater capacity as we put field medical shelters up, as we consolidate into single facilities, as we don't need individual rooms, negative airflow, isolation, etc. A vastly more efficient utilization of our healthcare system. Capacity. That's going to be really important. It's a really good learning from China that we got from the World Health Organization team that went there. Is if we have communities where we have enough capacity where we can put people who are positive with COVID-19 and have them be exclusively reserved for individuals who have who are positive for COVID-19. This reduces our need to try to protect patients from other patients. Yep, there it is, man. And somebody put Prepare or perish, it says. Has anybody seen the, the movie? I mean, seen the craziest movie? The last place I want to be is in quarantine with sick people. So that's what's coming, man. That's what's coming. Y'all by Shimia was shy. It's about to rain judgment on this fucking place, man. And man, Revelation chapter 2, verse uh, 10, it says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, some of us. All right, these concentration camps, whatever. And the beloved brother in New York just had a, a vivid dream about that, of them being at camp and the apostles and elders being apprehended. Now, a warning to you brothers out there, man, you out there teaching, and the cops roll up, man. You know, yeah, bro, we, you know, we be in the spirit, we fired up, man. You got to comply. You got to comply. Unless, you know, you in your house, your apartment, they roll up. Oh, yeah, that's it. You need nothing you can do. But you out there in the open, you got to try to comply. They said walk to the side. You got to walk to the side with them. Whatever they say, because we ain't got no power here, man. But the time coming where they, in most sides, going to allow them to roll. And you're going to come hard, man. It says, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that he may be tried, and he shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So in there, you're going to be interrogated, going to get tortured, whatever. They're, going, they're not going to feed you. So that's why you got to read about what happened to these to the prophets of old. You got to read about what happened to Jeremiah. You got to read what happened to da Daniel. You know, various, various uh, the, the apostles and disciples. They were faithful unto death. So that's the type of characteristics you want to pray for, ask the Mosai to, to give you, man. Because you want to you wanna make it to heaven, man. You, go, you have to catch this hell. And some of us have been slated to go through this this uh, this uh trial, man. And Lord willing, if I am, the rest of you brothers, the most side put the spirit on us to, to endure. Because we're not, you're, you're going to see brothers from GMS and you're going to see some other camps. 
in there, man. And boy, oh boy, they gonna have a rough fucking time, man. Yeah, so, hey, the spirit of prophecy, man, these things are happening. And I'm going to close our second Ezra chapter 15, verse 1. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people, the Israelites, the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. And we got this understanding by reading, studying through the Holy Spirit from our apostles and elders. And we give them right back. All right? And it says, And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. It's happening, man. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee, the unbelievers. People going, man, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So you want to be faithful unto the end. So Lord willing, this is an edifying lesson. Giving all praise to Yahweh Shimei, I was shy. Because after this, this captivity, man, Man, we going home, man. So that's that's the mind state you want to develop. This is our last captivity. So whatever happened, happens, man. Shalom, Akiyam.